Hey guys, Ashley here. Welcome to my channel. So a few nights ago, I made a trip to the dollar store because there's a few places in my house that kind of need to be reorganized and they've been stressing me out. So I went to the dollar store and I found some really good items that I wanted to share with you guys. And if you guys are looking for cheap but great organization solutions, the dollar store is the place to go. You can find some really great deals there, especially if your dollar store is stocked up on organization bins and I know that spring is coming and it's right around the corner so they'll start having all sorts of different bins and containers and that kind of thing out for spring so um, be watching out for that if you guys are wanting to kind of reorganize some things now normally before I organize something I kind of map everything out so I measure the the space that I'm organizing and I kind of create an organization system but this time I didn't do that I just kind of winged it this time <laughs> there was a few spaces that I just I just need a quick little solution for just to kind of get things straightened up until I actually have time to fully reorganize these places. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I'm in nursing school. I'm actually in my final semester. Thank, thank goodness gracious, there's light at the end of this tunnel. But um, the organization stuff, like deep organizing and actually fully getting systems in place are gonna have to wait. But for now, I've got some just quick little storage solutions to show you guys. The first is the cabinet under the bathroom sink. Oh, this cabinet stresses me out so stinking bad, you guys. And as you can see, it's a mess. Now, this container over here on the left side is where I store random things that I don't use very often. I do like having this drawer here, other than the fact that in order to open it, I kind of have to turn it sideways and then pull it open but that's not a big deal because like I said I don't really get into this drawer very often it's just things that I need occasionally or every so often and so I have that stuff in there for example I have like razors I have extra makeup I have makeup wipes and stuff that I I just keep extras of inside of this cabinet in the bathroom and that way if I'm out they're right there and I don't have to go anywhere else to get them on top of that I have my makeup bag hairbrushes and my straightener and on the right this is where I keep Levi's toothpaste in his cup my blow dryer, my hair products, and so on. Now my goal for this is just to kind of contain everything and make it easier for Levi to clean up his stuff as well as my stuff. I actually have a whole different idea of how I want to reorganize this uh, bathroom cabinet, but for now, like I said, this is just a quick little system to get it straightened up some until I actually have time to fully, fully hash out the plans for this bathroom sink. And when that time comes, I will definitely do a video and walk you guys through that process. So I actually found these small containers for Levi's toothpaste, his toothbrush, that kind of stuff to go in here. They came in a four pack for a dollar, which is an awesome deal because you can use these in so many different areas of your house. This will make it easy when he goes to brush his teeth. So he can just grab one of these little buckets out of the bottom, set it up on the sink. It's got his supplies in it. And then when he's done, he puts everything back inside of here and sets it back down there instead of throwing it into the bottom of this cabinet, which drives me bananas. Then I'm going to use this blue container here for my hair products. And I'll just kind of set this one in the back. And that way, if I need something, it's all right here. I'm not digging around for stuff. It's just in a container. It's good to go. And then I'm going to use this white one for my hairbrush, my straightener, and my blow dryer. Now, my goal for that was just to be able to grab that container out and set it up on the sink whenever I'm blow drying my hair, straightening it, need my hairbrushes, that kind of thing. It's all there, ready to go. And then when I put it back, everything's not getting thrown into the bottom. Because like Levi, I'm kind of guilty of this. Sometimes you're just launching things in there like I got to go. So just throw it down there and then that's when it becomes an absolute disaster. So if I have a container to pop everything in and then put that container up there, it kind of contains, it contains the mess. That feels a little bit better, but like I said, I'm definitely going to be changing this soon. I have this like picture in my head of what I want this under the cabinet area to look like. Now I also found these glass containers and you guys, this is some thick glass for one dollar holy cow if you guys need some glass containers i definitely recommend checking out the dollar store they had different shapes and sizes i just like the um square ones i think that they look good they're kind of classic so i got the square ones they did have some round ones they had some oddball weird shaped ones but i like these ones i'm going to use one of them for q-tips and then the other one for bobby pins hair clips and hair bows and then I'll set both of them right up on top of this shelf that I have in here for easy access. Next up, I found this cute little acrylic container and I couldn't figure out at first what to do with this thing and then I decided that I would put it inside of the cabinet that is behind the mirror. This thing's like so old school but it actually is very useful for hiding things. Um, so I stuck it up top here and I just have like lotion and I have 
some dry shampoo stuck inside of there and it just kind of keeps everything together and then it helps it too from falling out because sometimes I accidentally slam the mirror a little too hard and things come crashing down. Whoops. Again, sometimes I get in a hurry and I don't just throw things and slam things. It's just a mess. Next up is this situation. So this is where I keep Levi's socks and undies and his pants and shorts and PJs. We actually got rid of his dresser for these storage containers from Ikea. These are fantastic for storing toys. It makes cleanup so much easier. And it also makes it easier if he wants to get something out and like take it to the living room or in here to the office. He can just grab a bin, bring it in here and like there's all of his Legos or there's all of other random things that he has inside of these drawers. And I'm actually glad that we did this and we got these storage containers. Like I said, they come in handy, but the basket system is an absolute disastrous mess. For now, I'm just gonna use these green containers I found to straighten up the top basket. So I'm gonna use one of them for socks and then the other one for undies. Hopefully when he puts his clothes away, he won't just throw everything into the top of this and he'll put everything into the respective bin, but we'll see how that goes. Lastly, I have one more of these white containers and I'm gonna use this in our linen closet, which you guys, this needs an absolute makeover. Like I said, I have to wait till nursing school's over because if not, I could spend days organizing things and cleaning things. I absolutely love doing it, but it's also something that I will do to procrastinate from doing the things that I actually need to do. And right now, I've gotta get through this final semester. So this linen closet is just gonna to have to remain a mild mess until I get in here to get it cleaned up. For now, I just wanna use this container for extra soap, wipes, baby wipes and whatnot, and just have that kind of stuff inside of one container. And also the shelves in here are rack shelves, so like bars of soap and things like that just fall right down through there. It drives me insane. And then we have all this mess at the bottom and you know, you find a bar of soap and my shoes down here. So it's just a disaster. But like I said, for now, this will have to work. And I think this will help contain everything a little bit better. So that's it, guys. I know it wasn't a lot of organization, but these were just little things that have been driving me crazy lately. And I wanted to get them straightened up for now until I actually have time to fully organize everything. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. That lets me know if you guys wanna see more organization videos and if you like this kind of thing. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd love to have you here. Again, don't forget to go check out the dollar store for some great little organization bins. And I'll see you guys in the next video.